Are we about to get major changes at Disney? We're going to find out on Wednesday. And if we do get an additional board seat member, if that actually does happen, which, you know, my prediction is it happens and I could definitely be wrong. But if that does happen, does that guarantee that Disney's going to start releasing different content, content that's more appeasing to the fans? No, it doesn't. But things are definitely heating up. We're going to review everything that's going on in plain language. And it starts right here. Forbes did a little investigating. Indiana Jones whips up a $130 million loss for Disney. The timing of this is insane. The fact that they released this March 31st, just days before the vote here for this Disney board member showdown. So what is exactly happening? This article comes to us from Variety today. It says investors are voting on three competing board candidates. Uh, Disney's own recommended 12-member lineup, including CEO Bob Iger, two nominated by Try and Fund Management, which is headed by activist investor Nelson Biltz, and three from another investment firm that has, been, that has entered the fray, Blackwell's Capital. Now, as we get into it here, uh, it says Disney's 2024 annual meeting of shareholders will be held Wednesday, April 3rd, starting at 10 a.m. Uh, at specific time. Eligible shareholders can participate in the virtual meeting uh, at the link provided uh, by Variety there. Disney is also hosting a live webcast of the event. That's funny. Uh, I guarantee you they turn that off pretty quickly uh, if this doesn't go the way that they want it to go. Investors have been able to cast their votes prior to the meeting where the vote counts will be tabulated and announced. So we're actually going to find out if this is going down this coming Wednesday. So what is this all about Nelson Peltz? You know, is he, does he have a chance? Uh, how's it looking for him? What is the reason Nelson Peltz wants to uh, be uh, on the board, to have a seat? Uh, what type of change is he after here? Is this an attack on uh, the agenda, the message? Well, not really. Peltz wants Disney's stock price to go up, and he believes uh, new thinking is needed by Disney in order for that to happen. What he said was Disney fell from its number one position at the box office, uh, was late to enter the streaming business, and doubled down on their linear TV at the wrong time. And that is, of course, Nelson Peltz speaking there. Uh, they say that, Tryon says, uh, his group, that Disney has woefully underperformed its potential and its peers, costing shareholders more than $200 billion in value. In 2023, Disney's stock was up 35% year-to-date as of March 28th, but Tryon has argued that the pressure of uh, their proxy contest uh, pushing Disney to perform was part of the reason for a rebound or a resurgence in their stock price for a, a certain time. Tryon has questioned whether the company can execute on recently announced strategic plans, including hitting double-digit streaming margins. So basically what you have here is Nelson Peltz saying he has a vote of no confidence in Bob Iger. They, they mishandled uh, Bob Iger's succession with Bob Chapek. Putting Bob Chapek in that place basically ruined the company. They've still not c recovered from it. And what he's saying is they're going to do the exact same thing because Bob Iger is going to be nearing the end of his second tenure in the near future. He's at the age where he's going to be getting out. They brought him back to reestablish some stability. And has he even done that? I don't know. I mean, maybe a little. Uh, so, and Disney is all against trying, against Pelts. You know, they're calling him an activist investor. Um, you know, d does Nelson Pelts want to oust Bob Iger? We don't actually know that uh, based on his comments. And Variety reports here, not exactly, but it's complicated. Peltz is trying issued a statement last week saying the firm supports Mr. Iger as a candidate for the board and as CEO. However, the investment firm has withheld its votes for Iger's board candidacy. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's definitely going to be interesting. Um, Disney is no longer the company that it used to be. There is no, we are, we're definitely not in the golden age of Disney. 
and they become less and less relevant uh, with each month. Look at what they've done to the most powerful franchises in the world, Marvel and Star Wars. And who knows what else they're going to destroy in the meantime. So again, just because there is a takeover at the board, a new seat is added. Nelson Peltz is now on the board. Uh, If that indeed happens, does that mean we're going to get a significant shift in the entertainment that we get from Disney? No, it does not. It's very similar to people who are Star Wars fans that want Kathleen Kennedy out no matter what. And they get caught up thinking that's going to save Lucasfilm. No, because someone else is going to take her spot. And that doesn't mean anything gets any better. They could just continue her agenda or as hard as it is to, to see, even make it worse. So anyways, we're going to find out a lot more about Disney and its immediate future this coming Wednesday. And we'll be giving you that report. Thanks for being here. We are, you are Echo Base Network. Let me know in the comments what you think. We'll see you guys on the next one.